Hello children. How are you all? I can hear you say something. Are you saying I am fine thank you ma'am? Yes, you just did. Now, let me ask you. What is the caption statement of our school? It is making a difference. So you know children, you too must be different. So when anybody asks you, how are you? Don't say that same boring thing. I am fine, thank you ma'am. You must say, I'm great. I'm fantastic. I'm terrific. And then you will be different from others. And that will be making a difference. Okay, so today is the time for us to learn English. And now I'm going to tell you something about verbs. Have you heard this word before? You must have heard it dear children. But you may not be knowing that verbs can be of two kinds. So what is a verb? A verb is an action word. A verb is a doing word. So now what am I doing? I am talking. That is a verb. You are listening. That is also a verb. And you may be writing. That is also a verb. So children, verbs can be divided into two. The first kind of verb is called regular verbs. Now you know children, regular verbs are verbs which just keep changing into the ed form. So let me give you an example. The first word that I want to tell you about is work. W-O-R-K, work. Now, if I want to change this work into the past tense, you know the past tense? If I want to change this word work into the past tense, I will just add ED and I will write W-O-R-K-E-D and it became worked. Now, let me give you another example. Let's take the word Play. P-L-A-Y. Play. What do you think is the past tense of play? Let's watch. P-L-A-Y and I will add E-D and it will become played. So that is the past tense of play. Let's take another example. The word is cook. C-O-O-K. And now, if I want to change this into past tense, what do I have to write? I just have to write C-O-O-K-E-D and it's become cooked. So you see, these verbs which change into the past tense form by adding E-D, these are called regular verbs. Pretty simple, isn't it? Now, let's take the other kind of verbs. Now, the opposite, the antonym of regular, irregular. So, I, R, R, E, G, U, L, A, R. Irregular verbs. Now, you know children, some irregular verbs do not change into any past tense form. Now let's write the first word cut. C U T cut. This word does not change into the past tense form. It remains as cut even in the past tense form. So if I say I will cut or I cut, I cut vegetables. And if I say yesterday, then if I'm talking about yesterday, I should be using the past tense of cut. But the past tense of cut is also cut. So I will say yesterday I had cut some vegetables. 
or yesterday I cut some vegetables. Today I will cut. So the word cut remains as cut in every form. The simple present tense, the past tense and also the future tense. So let's take another word. Hit. H-I-T. Hit. This word also in the present tense remains as hit and in the past tense it does not change. It still remains as hit. And let us take another word. Beat. B-E-A-T. Beat. Beat also does not have a new past tense form. Beat remains as beat. But you know children, there are some words which do have a very different past tense form. We do not write ed. We write a different word altogether. And those are also irregular verbs. Now let me give you an example. The first word that I want to write here is give. G-I-V-E, give. You know children, this give, when it changes into past tense, it becomes gave. G-A-V-E, gave. And you know, I'll give you another word with G. Get. G-E-T, get. But you know, when I change it into past tense, I don't say get it. I say got. G-O-T, got. And then let's take another small word. Take. T-A-K-E, take. You see, when I change it into past tense, it does not become taked. It becomes took. T-O-O-K, took. So you see, children, the difference between regular and irregular verbs. Regular verbs change into the past tense by adding ed form, the ed form. But irregular words sometimes don't change at all. And sometimes they change into a very new word. Now let's watch a very small video on regular and irregular verbs. And then I think it will become completely easy for you to understand. children, they have not spoken about the words which don't change their form. But remember I told it to you and those are words like hit or beat or cut. Now that's the end of today's class children. We will be meeting very soon again. Until then, thank you and bye.